Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. But since you're trespassing on my property, and you're a complete stranger, I'm going to tell you about tying knots. You see, mankind has been tying knots since before we've been able to make fire. For everything from making nets, erecting structures, snaring game, to tying up hostages. But with the advent of Velcro and clip-on ties, people don't tie as many knots as they used to. So I'm going to show you how to tie some of my favorite knots. In this video, we're going to go over how to uh, tie a series of fisherman's knots. We're going to start off with the fisherman's loop, um, which is used uh, to tie something to the end of a rope um, or the terminus of a rope um, securely, uh, something that can bear a load. Um, you know, it's preferred that you would use a carabiner on something like this because a fisherman's knot can get uh, get pretty tight and hard to untie if it's loaded or shock loaded. So something to keep in mind. Um, so the first thing you want to do is double your end of your rope over just like this, you know. And uh, it's a very simple knot and it's a good one. So all you want to do is you want to wrap your tail around your rope a couple times just like this. Then bring that tail, whoops, bring that tail back up and through your wraps. Just like that. And that's your that's your double fisherman's uh, loop. And you know, you dress it by pulling these two ends of your knot tight and just make sure that it's dressed good. This is an easy, easy knot to tie. It's hard to screw up once you got it. And then the way this works is you know, you have a loop, and when it gets tension on it, it snugs up. So, pretty secure. Um, you can definitely make this knot more secure if you're concerned about the load uh, by giving it three wraps. Um, but, you know, as it is, it's still a pretty good knot. Um, Alright, so the next one is just known as the double fisherman's knot. And it's a way to tie two ends together. Um, of separate ropes or and you know two ends of the same rope together to make a big loop. Um, this is also known as the grapevine knot. So you take your ends and overlap them as such and then you basically go about doing a similar thing. You know you're gonna make a couple of wraps. You can pull some length out. Make a couple of wraps and keep them loose so that you can come back and poke your end, you know, your tail through. And dress your knot. That looks good. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing over here. And you can always pull a little more slack through if you need to. And there you go. You make your couple loops. And you bring this end, the tail, through. And dress it. Okay, looks good. Got that. And it just slides together. And the tighter you pull, the tighter those knots get. And that is your double fisherman's knot. And it made a loop. Pretty cool. Um, this loop can bear just as much weight as you know, probably the capacity of the, of the rope itself. And now we're going to do the cool one, the sliding double fisherman's loop, or not. I think it's loop. Anyhow, I'm going to start off by, you know, tripling up your line like this, okay, so that your ends are like that. And what you do is basically the same thing. Um, you're going to take your tail end and you're going to wrap it just like you did. You're going to tie your knot around a doubled end like that. Okay. It's dressed. It's on there. Okay, next you are going to do the same thing on the other end. 
You know, this is not a terribly complicated affair. Okay, so now I've got something like this. And all you do is pull them together. Whoops. As such, blam. Now you got, you know, basically the same as the last knot, but it has a loops on each end, which you can use in various ways, and you can adjust it. So if you want all the loop on one end, let's see here, like this, you know, just made that small, you just find whatever end is sliding through your knot. Oh yeah, so I just made that small. And this end, real big. And you can do it either way. It's up to you. So that is the sliding double fisherman's loop.